Good morning, Vlogmas, day 10. <sighs> Good morning, Vlogmas. Today is Monday, December 20th, and it's five days until Christmas. Oy vey. So, I have school today. I believe today is my last day of in-person classes. I am about to leave. I'm just going to make some breakfast real quick. Trying to decide whether I should have cream cheese or butter on my bagel. I guess I'll do cream cheese for today. So, yeah, I'm making breakfast right about now. And I'm about to go to school. I have really been loving this acai juice since I found it at Whole Foods. It is actually so good. It basically just tastes like a melted acai bowl, which you would think wouldn't taste good because once my acai bowl gets melted, I don't eat it. But now I've been drinking this and I think it should be a good source of like protein and stuff like that. Yeah, it has iron fiber, omegas, antioxidants, and fruit. So I think it should be good for you. Just got to campus for the last day of classes. It's been a long time coming, it feels like. It hasn't. Like, the semester did go fast and slow at the same time. <laughs> I'm so excited. We're almost done. I am home from school and not having the best day right now, so... I hope today gets better. Um, I really want to go to the gym, but I've been having lots of asthma lately and trouble breathing. So I think if I work out, that would just end up being really bad because I would end up coughing and having trouble breathing. So it's probably not the best idea to go to the gym today, but I just got Vlogmas Day 9 up right now. Um, I ordered some Chick-fil-A for lunch because I wanted it yesterday, but it was Sunday, so... We got some for today's lunch and I'm just gonna like edit right now kind of chill I'm not having the best day so I hope the rest of the day gets a little better you know my favorite part of the day is when the mail comes let's see what we got all right vlog right now we're gonna do all of the things for vlogmas day 10 hi Luna how nice of you to come say hi to the vlog and walk across the dining room table. Nope, she does not want to be cuddled right now. So first things first, I got a package from the one, the only, Miss Remy Ashton, personally. I'm just joking, it's not actually from Miss Remy Ashton, it's from her merch store, but I'm still really excited. So if you are a Miss Remy Ashton lover just like me, you know that Miss Remy just came out with some merch Oh my goodness, look at this queen, unbothered and it's thriving. I'm literally going to hang this up on my whiteboard because I love her and she is a huge inspiration to me. So yeah, look at this queen. Um, Her merch sold out so quickly and actually I was almost able to get one of the hoodies, um, but I didn't have the money at the time to buy the hoodie. I literally spent... The last money in my bank account to get the Unbothered and Thriving baseball cap. I don't really wear baseball caps a lot, except when I'm having a really bad hair day. But I love Remy so much, and she has been a huge inspiration to me literally for years now. So I knew that when I heard she was coming out with merch, I had to have it. I absolutely had to have it. And look how adorable this is unbothered and thriving queen literally so cute i feel like whenever i do wear baseball caps i put them on backwards what's up baby um i look like a middle school boy but i am so excited to have miss remy ashen's merch can't wait for her to come out with more merch so that way i can get some more and i also did get some pretty basic merch that didn't come in the mail yet but hopefully that should be coming soon too i'm super excited to show you the pretty basic merch that i got so let's do the advent calendars for today we are so close to being done a couple more days to go okay today's chapstick advent calendar we got vanilla latte i can't wait to try this one i've never had this one before and then Vlogmas Day 10, and we only have two more 
which means we only have two more days of vlogmas which is crazy and i can't believe it's almost over already so we got nail polish today it's a nice pretty little like pink color oh i really like this color so i can add this to the rest of my nail polish collection so yeah that's our advent calendars for today my kitten literally just came and sat down right in front of my camera luna no it's not not look at how cute she is though look at my little princess baby Mwah. and by the way guys if you watched vlogmas day nine um she got attacked by something which was very sad i was so upset and so scared and felt so bad for her but just so you know she is doing much much better her cuts are healing and i think she's feeling better too so that's good oh hello luna speak of the little princess she's back again hello she is playing and eating and drinking like normal so i think she's okay and i'm really happy that she's okay and her cuts are healing they don't seem to look infected or anything like that so that's good news so i have had these two little mini gingerbread houses sitting in my closet since the beginning of december probably even before december actually probably like since november before vlogmas even started and i haven't had time to do them for you guys but now i have time so we're gonna make some little mini gingerbread houses today and i just wanted to say um i know this vlogmas was definitely not the best because i just had a lot going on in my personal life like i've been telling you guys it was my first semester in college so i've been doing homework a lot of the time um pretty much most of my month was spent doing homework going to class and going to work so I haven't had a ton of time to make content for you guys that I am like super proud of. I think last year's vlogmas was probably even better than this one because last year I was homeschooled so I had plenty of time for vlogmas and this year I had very little time for vlogmas so I want to apologize because I think that this vlogmas was not my best and I wish I had more time to spend on vlogmas and trust me i have been trying to get my friends together for this entire month so we could make gingerbread houses and we were gonna do it last weekend when we had a sleepover but then i wound up getting sick and they wound up going home so we didn't get to make the gingerbread houses i might see my friends tonight i'm not sure if i'm gonna see them before christmas because it is only five days away and you know they have their own lives going on and I really wanted to get my friends together to build gingerbread houses and make Christmas cookies and have a little like Christmas get together. But I haven't been able to do that because we all have our own stuff going on. And especially me, I've had an insane schedule with my final exams and everything. So I was gonna get us together to do like another like gingerbread house building contest video like I did. I think it was, was it last year? No, I think it was two years ago, but we haven't had time to get us all together yet and i don't know if we will so if we don't then there's nothing i can do about it because i've been wanting to for this entire month it's just been really crazy so anyways on that note let's make some gingerbread houses i am going to start with the sour patch kids one i love sour patch kids fun fact about me i enjoy eating them as a snack i usually get sour patch kids when i go to see a movie i love them they're so good i think oh my god look how tiny it is oh my god i love mini things i'm really excited for this i bet this is gonna come out really cute oh my goodness and it come with it came with a little pack of sour patch kids i'm just gonna build probably both of them on this little plate because they didn't give me cardboard to build these ones on so yeah Oh, it smells really good. I kind of want to eat a piece, but let me know. What do you guys do when you're making gingerbread houses? Do you decorate them first or do you put them together first? Oh my God. It's going to be so tiny. I thought this was the whole entire front piece, but you split it in half. Luna. Okay, let's get decorating. <laughs> Alright, 
the Sour Patch Kids gingerbread house is all finished. I think it came out really cute. It's very hard to decorate the tiny ones, but very easy to build them compared to the big ones. I think it looks really cute. I love the little like Sour Patch Kids on the top. That's adorable. And then got some little Sour Patch over here. just in the middle of making my gingerbread houses and guess what showed up at my door a package for me a package from pretty basic i'm excited i'm gonna open these for you guys after i finish with the gingerbread houses though because i don't want to get icing on them but i'm so excited to show you guys what i got i love that my remy merch and my Pretty Basic merch came both on the exact same day. I love that. So I cleaned up the gingerbread house mess. Now let's get to the package. I'm so excited, oh my goodness. I cannot wait to put these on. We got the cute little promo card. It's about to get pretty basic. Thanks for the support, basic babes. We love you guys so much. Tag at pretty basic official and use hashtag pretty basic to be featured. Oh, I'm definitely gonna post on my Instagram. Oh my. I am so excited. I wanted to get the matching set, but the hoodie and the sweats were $65, $65 each. So I just got the sweatpants for now and maybe I will get the hoodie eventually, but look at these. On the back, it says pretty basic. I love these so much. They are so soft on the inside. Oh my God, I guarantee once I put these on, I've never taken them off. So that's what I got from the Pretty Basic merch line. And it's like so cute too. It's like holographic. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. I love you, Queen Remy and Queen Alicia. Not that you guys would be watching this. Definitely not, but I love you guys. Mm -hmm.